All right, chip of the day is a PT2399, an echo processor. So they say you can use this in karaoke's and car entertainments and toys and stuff. It's an echo device and uh, it's not a, um, not a spring like it is on the old ones, reverb thing. It's uh, all digital. And it does it with uh, some filters and uh, clocks and stuff and a shift register and um, yeah. Uh, here's an application circuit, got a bunch of things. So um, I found a board on eBay, okay. So here's a board on eBay. Don't remember what I paid for it. It was pretty cheap and it has an, it has an in and an out. It's a five volt part, so I have five volts going in and an in and an out. And so we can take a look at some waveforms. So uh, the yellow trace is the in, it's a sync pulse. And then the cyan is a um, output. And you can see there's a little bitty pulse in here. So this is the main pulse and it's giving us a little echo pulse. So if I turn it, turn it down, it, uh, oops, I just lost my scope probe, sorry. To hold that on. So you can see that echo went away. And if I turn it up, then that echo starts to appear. And it's at 44.5 milliseconds. That's where that echo is. I put some cursors here. It's at 44.5 milliseconds. If I keep turning it up, you'll start getting some kind of extra bounces in there. So it'll have more and more reverb. But the main delay, the main delay was at 44.5, and then it kind of wraps around to longer, to longer times, right? Um, so, so you get you get the this, the knob that comes with it is the amount of reverb, whether it's there and how much is there. But it doesn't it doesn't allow you to adjust the uh, distance of the reverb, the the speed of the reverb. Okay, um, but the PC board that I received, I, I bought two of them, um, has a uh, place to add a second potentiometer over here. And that uh, second potentiometer allows you to change the delay. It's, the, it's uh, the adjustment of the VCO clock inside of the chip. So this controls the master clock of the, of the shift register type thing. And uh, so by adding, adding this pot, I can uh, make it to two, two different things now. So I need to move over all my over all my probes and power supplies and everything. So let me do that. All right, I've swapped over my, my other board that I've added the uh, potentiometer to. And we can take a look at the waveform now. And um, I've adjusted it so that I get a kind of a bounce, 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 and you can see it kind of decay, right? And so uh, that's what the new the new adjustment does, I can see, I can make that bounce longer in time. It takes longer and longer and longer to happen. And I can make that, that reverb shorter and shorter and shorter uh, by adjusting that potentiometer. Um, yeah, so I say if you get one of these boards, definitely add the other, the other pot and make it much more interesting. And then the old one does the same thing. It just makes it go small and it just makes it get big. So anyway, I thought that'd be a, a pretty cool chip to have on something like a synthesizer or something. Um, so the chip of the day is a PT2399 Echo. All right, you weren't gonna let me get away with it, so I had to do it. So I'm going to do echo through the, uh, through the device here. Uh, I have a, a preamplifier pre mixer. This is a Mackie 402 uh, VLZ3. And I have a uh, condenser microphone going to it, which is an XML 2008. And uh, yeah, let me, uh, hello, this is MSI guy. I sound like I'm in a cave. I think it's over here in the corner, somewhere. I think it's in one of these small drawers. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's change the amount of echo. That's the, I mean, not the amount, but the repetitiveness. 
Oh, there, there we go. go. Hello? Hello? It's quite a short echo now. Short echo. And then I can lengthen the echo. I can lengthen the echo. There's a very long echo. So the only complaint I have about this is quite a bit of noise, and I don't know if it's because it's not shielded or it's out in the open and stuff, but I do believe it's probably adding noise to the system. I don't know if this picks up on the microphone. If I stop, let me turn this off because this is annoying. All right. Well, anyway, this has been fun.